Hello everybody, it's Tim with TD Sports Cards. Uh, I haven't done a video here in a while, so I figured I'd open up these two boxes of uh, 2020 um, hanger boxes. Exclusive, I get six hollow orange and two diamond pearls. So, absolutely, the ones we're looking for in this is uh, Louis Robert, or Louis Robert. I don't know, still, I don't, Robert sounds better than Robert, Louis Robert, two first names. But we're going to open up two of these and see if there's any rookies in there. See if there's any special inserts, numbered, autographs. If you could find whatever in these. So we're going to open these up and uh, see if we can't get lucky. Um, yeah, you typically get these for like 10 bucks at. I, get, I got these at 10 bucks at Target. So, All right. Without any further ado, let's rip into them. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, or comment if you like the video. And, um, like I said, we got plenty, plenty more to, to, to uh, open up. It's easier to open these on the bottom. Just going to take both of them out. Actually, it could have been easier on the top on these ones. I know some of them are, are easier on the bottom. Right, see, there we go. All right, let's throw the box back up there. All right, guys, let's see what we get. Can't get lucky. I think I've only got a couple of these so far so this will be kind of a shorter video see if we can't get any of the big ones yeah so the orange and the hollows right there all right let's see we got Joey Votto Anderson and Marquez who's suspended good pitcher but suspended Kevin Newman I like him He's, a, he's like a scrapper kind of guy. Uh, Gene Scarra, Luke Weaver, Robbie Ray. Uh, here's your all-star um, most valuable player, Shane Bieber. Walker Bueller. He's got some Cy Youngs in him. It's a really, really, really good pitcher. I like him. I pull all of his cards. He's like a, reminds me of another like Scherzer kind of guy. So long time, long long term. I think he's like a Hall of Famer, but he's got to throw up some stats. Um, win a few Cy Youngs, kind of deal. Uh, Tanaka, Austin Meadows, same thing. I like this guy a lot, I like a lot. I got a nice one to send in. Let's see if it's right here. Uh, where's it at? Uh, there you cherry pick it. Yeah. There's a uh, Bowman Chrome Blue Wave though. But I got I got a, a mini auto orange black. It's pretty cool. Low numbered. Cueto, Jose Ramirez. He's kind of like eh. I don't know what he's going to do, but he's he's more of an offense threat. Michael Brantley. All right. Let's get to our inserts. Anything good, we're just going to sleeve. And I'm saving all these these ones. Pete Alonzo. I'm getting them right in the sleeves, top loaders, because uh, this one's off-center, too. Like really bad. Um, because of condition-sensitive. Very condition-sensitive. Let's see. Next one, Man of Steel. He's my PC guy. Ricky Henderson. I don't know if that's a name, very or a nickname, short print or not. But Pete, Ricky Henderson is one of my PCs, so he's definitely getting pulled pulled aside. All right. Let's see what else we got here. 
We got Aaron Judge. There's a rookie, Patrick Sandoval. There's a Bryce Harper. Clayton Kershaw. I don't know if that's a variation. Oh, it might just be regular. Um, AJ Puck. Really good young pitcher. Javi Baez. Uh, this one's a, this one's a variation. This one's a like a nickname. So let's go ahead and sleeve that up. I'm gonna sleeve some of these up as I go, just because. All right, and this one I'll sleeve. Brendan McKay. Notice that on this batch here. The centering isn't that good, left to right. Even with Degrom, Ricky one actually is. Uh, maybe not top to bottom though. And honestly, Alonso is off. So not the best uh, centering. Okay, okay, we got Kettle Marte. Uh, this one's different. This is Bobby Bradley, rookie, main variation. Bobby Bradley is actually a really, really good hitter. Came up and uh, he did okay. That one's uh, looks like maybe off top to bottom. He's a, but he's actually really good. There's a Mike Trouty. That one looks actually the best center. All right, let's get into the, some of the good stuff. We had a Francisco Lindor, Stars. That's a parallel. I've been keeping most of his common stuff aside. Because if he does, if he keeps going the way he's going, he's gonna he's gonna do good. All right. So we get six hollow orange and two diamond. So we got first up Paul Goldschmidt, and yeah, this one's just off top to bottom. All right, we have Chapman orange. If you look at these, these are not numbered; they're just orange. It's the Target exclusive, I believe. Keith Hernandez. That one actually looks really good. Corners are all good. That one looks really centered, too. He's like, uh, unless you get some of his early cards, he's like very modest in the market. Kakuchi. You say Kakuchi. A lot of hype. Came up. Yeah, he had some okay games, and near the end of the year, he got bombed. So, it's kind of hard to judge what he's going to do. Paquito. That's another Lindor. It's a name variation. And that one actually looks pretty centered. So, that's a good one. That's one that will probably be a slab cam. That one looks pretty well centered. And, last but not least, Justin Dunn. And if you... Wondering how come I'm slabbing some of these. Some of the rookies are just unproven. I mean, there's so many guys out there that have an okay, like, first couple of years, and then all of a sudden turn it on. And it's a whole other ball game. Ooh, here's a nice one. Ooh, got two nice ones. Now playing Aristides Aquino. Look at that. Look at that glare. That one actually looks... Pretty well center. That's a sharp looking card. I like that one. That's a good slab can. It's a Kino, now playing. It's kind of like a Future Stars kind of kind of a deal. Look at that. That's a sharp looking card. 
That's, that's a really good card. Here's another one that could be a little bit of a banger. A lot of potential. Joe Adele, rated rookie. So that's a really good one. That's a definite slab can. And that one looks very well centered. It's a sharp card. That's probably one of the biggest ones in this so far. All right. Let's go back to the room. There's some regulars. Pools. Gallo. Soler. Machado. Marco Gonzalez. Trey Messini. I like him. I still think he'll do good. Yeah, here's one we got to do. Kind of like did this with Trout. Anything Ronald Acuna Jr. And that one is is uh, pretty centered, if anything, off a little bit top to bottom. Maybe a little bit left to right. So that's probably like a 9, if you're figuring all the centering. But I'll take a 9 on that one long term. Alright, let me get some of the 86 design. Uh, Michael King, rookie. For Bly 11, Hall of Famer. He actually lives... Uh, about a half hour south of me. Uh, Jim Rice. Jonathan Daza. I honestly have never heard of him. Out of all, all the stuff that I've I've done. Uh, George Brett. Joe Palumbo, rookie out of Texas. Edwin Rios. Now Rios is another one that's killed it in the minors. And um, he's actually done really, really well. That one looks pretty centered. So it's a slab can. I like that one. Alright. So now we're on to package number two. So far the Dell and the Aquino ones look pretty sharp. Still no roof, no Lewis. So we got the cover up get on the back. Alright, here's another young guy that's got a lot of potential. Max Freed. Mitch Hanniger was lost here last year after becoming an all-star. So we'll see what, how he bounces back and jumps in the mix. JV, Justin Verlander, one of my other PC guys. So he's your, a future Hall of Famer. Ham Scherzer, Kershaw. DeGrom needs some more years. He's had a great, great stretch, but he needs some more years. Um... Yeah, those are the, to me, the, the locks on the pitching right now. Just they've had too big of a career. Jer Garrett Cole, same thing. For some great years, but he needs long, some longevity. Uh, Severino had a good year last year. Um, the last couple of years, he's, he's a good pitcher. He just got injured. We won't see him again until till next year. Omar Mazzara. Good, good little good hitter. Josh Donaldson, if he didn't have injuries, he would have went on a, like a nice tear and had a chance for all. I think he's missed too much time to not, in the first like three years of his third, what, three or four years career was like average or below. But he's had some good years. He's he's super long shot for Hall of Fame. I don't, I don't think he'll make it. Gary Sanchez, injuries. Slugger kind of reminds me of a Piazza, but not like a Piazza. Um, if that makes any sense. Hunter Renfro, good young player. Chris Davis, he's uh, just a slugger. If he keeps playing, he'll hit. He'll get 500 home runs. But he needs some more years. It's funny, I was batting average. No, it doesn't, doesn't show it on here. His batting average was, uh, this last year was 220, but was it 247 for like three or four years in a row? Kind of weird. Mankata, if the White Sox are going to do anything... He's going to be the backbone. Okay, him, Abreu, Eloy. Those are the three that's got to carry the White Sox. They have a great young pitching staff. Matt Olson, slugger, but actually he's getting better and better. So I, I expect him to have uh, a decent year. The next year or two, he'll have, he'll have a, a really, really good year, whether for power or all around or what. Roberto Rodriguez, decent pitcher. Kittle Marte. Oh, here's a good one. And it looks uh, centered left to right, but not top to bottom. 
Nico Horner. Good young guy for the Cubs. Uh, probably your second baseman. You can move over to short if need be. Um, but, yeah, it's a good card. He's, he's actually a really good player. There's another one I like. And this one's uh, decently centered. This would be about a nine, probably. Got one little white tip up here, too. But, I like Austin. Uh, yeah, it's like left to right, a little bit off the white tip, so it's like I see that being a nine. Josh Bell came on, died in the second half, but lots of potential. Raider rookie Brock Burke, Buster Posey, uh, good chance for future Hall of Famer, especially for a catcher. I mean, he's won three rings. Uh, won an MVP, I believe. Was that night? Uh, 2000. Okay, maybe 12. But he's a he's a good player. He still needs a few more years, I think. Oh, here's a little nickname. And so Altuve, Bam Bam. But he's still a good player. I don't think he needed all. They needed all that because he can hit. Now, will the Bam Bam affect his power? Who knows? But he's still a good contact hitter. That's off left to right. This is one that I, I bought a lot of. Bought a lot of gold, numbered. This guy I like. You look at his numbers and look at his minor league numbers. This guy can hit. He's always hit. He's a decent fielder. Uh, it's all left to right. Same thing with this box. Soares. He's came on and done really well. Here's another legendary great. Tony Gwynn. Yeah, there's a Vladimir. Another thing. It's off top to bottom. But long term wise, if he does what he's supposed to be, then even in, in a nine, which I think this is, um, I'll have value. So I'm going to top load it. Tony Gonsolin, he's actually a really good pitcher. Same thing, you look at his minor league numbers. Um, it's just, is he going to be a starter, or is he going to be a long relief? Or eventually a closer. Who knows on that one. Lance Lynn, he's had some great years. There's another short, short one. This one's off, I think, top to bottom. Yelly. Yelly. His career reminds me of like a J.D. Martinez. Good, but not good enough for the first like three, was it, three, four years. And then all of a sudden, two stellar years. That's just like J.D. Martinez. So I put him in that that late spurt um, category. Is he Hall of Famer yet? No. Is J.D. Martinez Hall of Famer? No. J.D.'s hit like three, three tens and, and so on. A bunch of homers. All right, here's our number card. Josh Bell to 249. It's a thicker card. Dominators. I like this. I like the Dominator set. It's actually pretty cool. I got one, I think, from last year that had uh, Griffey Jr. Yep, yeah, that's 249. Pretty cool. You can see the shine. It's the back. That's a pretty cool one. All right, let's see our oranges. Got Kyle Hendricks. This must be a Josh Bell box, I think. There we go. All right, we got a Max Muncie. Oh, no, there's a cool one. Yeah, these parallels. And I'll, if I decide if I want to slab them or not. Here's a Jose Canseco classic card. This one looks really well centered. The oranges actually look really centered, which is nice. Giancarlo. 
Yeah. Injury plagued ever since he tore up Miami. So if we can get one full year out of him and one full year out of Judge and one full year out of Sanchez. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an epic year. Nope, oh, yes, nice ones coming up. There's Cody. Same thing, I've been sleeping his. But rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, he's just had a great, great career so far. Here's a nice one. Mr. Juan Soto. Orange parallel, so that's definitely probably going to be a slab can. Even if it's a nine, it's off. Uh, yeah, it's off left to right, I think. But I'll take that one in a nine still. All right. Here's a. Uh, what do we got? We got a. American Pride. USA Baseball, Justin Fosh, Collegiate National. With Andrew Vaughn on the back. Ah. There we go. It's got the Vaughn. Vaughn is awesome. Watch any of his college games. And, um, well, he's, he's the man. Likes it out. It's awesome. It'd be just curious to see what. What a Fosh and Andrew Vaughn. It's curious to see what um, Vaughn and Joey Bart and all them are going to do here in the near future. A thicker one. As seen on TV featuring Clayton. Clayton, I was starting a PC on, but he's going to be a Hall of Famer, but I don't know if I want to PC him. I thought about that. Still love the shine, seen on TV. Pretty cool. Alright, back to some commons. Eddie Zero. Andy. Scarver. Great year last year. There's Mr. Pete. Until we start seeing his third, fourth, and fifth year. Just like how he did with Judge and so on. Judge this injury played for like a month, month and a half each of the last couple years, it seemed like. And that was really well centered. Um, see what where the careers go. They keep putting up the numbers. Edmund, good young career. Loriano, good young player. Fast, fierceless. Kevin Mitchell. There's another one up now. Ricky Henderson. This is the regular. Though. Or is this the same? Right, we'll check here in a minute. Dale Murphy. Josh Rojas, rookie. Aaron Savali, rookie. He's actually really, really good. Uh, Yu Chang, Cleveland. Da -da -da. They're going about that one. Cal Ripken, I like Savali. At Cleveland, Cleveland just produces pitchers just like LA does. New York tries, but they always seem to get injured because you got to remember they got Jordan Montgomery also. Besides Severino, and then you have Marquez, who's, who. What, tested steroid positive? So, um, or illegal substance, I think is what it, what it was. But, here are the comments, here are the inserts. Quickly go through these again. Um, Pete Alonzo base, looks good. Kershaw, this is the, the diamond parallel. Got a nice orange Soto. Cody Bellinger. A6 design. Um, Giancarlo orange. Jose Canseco orange. Max Muncy orange. Kyle Hendricks orange. Uh, Yelly nickname. Gonsolin rookie. Sorry about the glare. Vlad. Nick Solik rookie. Gigante, or Altuve uh, nickname, Meadows, A6 design, Eagle Horner rookie, that's a good one, Ron Lacuna, this is, I really like this one, Rissus Aquino now playing, 
head is so sharp. So this is my really, really good panel. Um, Justin Dunn, Paquito, that's Lindor, for those who don't know, nickname, Kikuchi, Keith Hernandez, Chapman, Goldschmidt, Lindor, this is blue, that's the stars, it's a good one, Trouty, goes in the good pile, Bobby Bradley, rookie, nickname, so it's like a short print, that one goes in the good, Pete Alonzo, 86. Yeah, I see Man of Steel. The, Grom the Grominator nickname. Brendan McKay, rookie. Uh, there's Savali, rookie. So there's the nickname. A little shorter print. Those are my PC. So those are going the good. American Pride. That's the diamond. Justin Fosh. But it's got Andrew Vaughn on it. That goes in the good pile. Josh Bell numbered. Edwin Rios rookie. It's a good one. And probably one of the bigger ones in this. The Joe Adele Diamond. It's not numbered. But rate of prospect. I believe that Devon Bell. Mm, for me, Man of Steel. Trout's always there. Lindor goes up there. Kino goes up there. Let's yeah, see. We got Vaughn, Adele. Probably Adele would be number one. Alright, then. That'd be number one. Um. Probably Aquino number two. Those are like so sharp. Um, probably Andrew Vaughn number three. Lindor st stores. And then we got Nico rookie and Man of Steel insert short print. Those would probably be my five, my six. Actually, I don't know if I can do. I probably have to take Nico out. Because I like my I like my Ricky. But alright everybody. Thank you for joining. Um for opening up the two boxes. Like I said, I like the product. It's a it's a kind of a low rent product, but they have some cool inserts, you know, with the with the diamond parallels. It's pretty cool. Um but thank you for joining. Like I said, like, subscribe. Uh, thank you all for for subscribe for subscribing in the past, and uh, we'll see you in the future. See what products come out after uh, when things start popping out. All right, thank you for joining.